left a bunch of sticky. Hey, internet. This is Nate and crew. We've got with us Lara, Darth Lara in the side. <laughs> We've cool. got Hannah in the back with Jacob. They'll probably laugh and giggle along the way. And uh, let's jump into it. So last time, I'm wearing the headphones for no reason because it's literally coming out of the speakers. <laughs> um, last time, we chose our character stuff, which so far, stop, we are, where's my, where's my person? Go, ex okay. We are a hedonist with a background in medicine. Uh, we studied occultism and we are logical. We are from Italy. We seek out pleasure wherever we go. We're extremely social and quite experienced in all the enjoyable vices of the world. We're very familiar with the basics of human <laughs> biology. <laughs> we are though, right? We are an ass. This is true. And we instinctively think through the implications of information we receive. All of the information we receive. It's like you're writing yourself a message. Let's talk with Illuminata. I feel like we can flirt. Andreas, what was that noise? Oh, I'm sorry, Sister Illuminata. I knocked a bowl of paint to the floor. But then Brother, or, but then Prior Feren came in. Ferenc. Ferenc came in, know. wrote in in one of his books, slammed it closed, and left. He was in such a hurry, I don't even think he noticed. Meh. Me. He was slamming the slamming book shut. Prior for rank should know better than that. Some of the manuscripts are quite delicate. He seemed to be in a great hurry. There's a lot of synergy in this build. I agree, Papachero. Hey, Papachero. We should survive really well on this one. I think he's on edge since Baron Rothvogel arrived early. Which is why books should not be taken out of the library unless it is necessary for divine reading. Is the thoughtful reading of and meditation on scripture. That's a fat cat. The, the practice leads to prayer and contemplation. It is a daily part of life in Benedictine communities. Papa Charles says hi again. Hi again. Are you still should we do this one? Are you still mad at me? Are you still mad at me for borrowing Legion. the book? No anger. Anger is not an appropriate response for a man. Good to see you, Legion. But the man the fact remains that you tricked me into giving you that book for no valid reason. Not valid. Which I saw you say you sound angry. Yes. <laughs> you sound angry. You should not interpret my disappointment as anger. You should also understand where it is directed. It is ultimately my fault, but it's my responsibility to be more vigilant about but what books you can take from the library. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait, what's all this fuss about Lorenz Rothfogel? Why is Prior Ferenc so nervous? Lorenz? I didn't know you were familiar with the man uh, to use his Christian name. Hi, people I admittedly do not recognize, but I'm sure are nice people. <laughs> That's Jacob, and this is Hannah. They're my brother and sister. Anyway, they are very nice. Anyway, I haven't dealt with him personally, but the Prior and Father Abbot have. I only know that he's purchased a member of our valuable manuscripts over the years. They've only been here for a week anyway, so they're also new. And he paid enough to help the Abbey when we needed it. Like what? What did he buy? I can't remember. You know, I have my own responsibilities to attend to. Now, about this, Andreas, if you will help me recover some missing books, I'll tell you... Oh, how about this, Andreas? I'll tell you what I know about the Baron. Of course, I'll help any way I can. Legion says it's a pleasure to see He didn't say that at all. He just said a pleasure. That's what you infer. That's what that Thank means. you. It's for the good of the Abbey. <laughs> where should I begin? Out there, where you and your cohort have carelessly strewn around the scriptorium. I will tell you what books I'm looking for. Find them and return them to me. The first book is two volumes of the Aeneid. Reddish covers, 14 inches by 10 inches, 3 inches thick. Huh. Innsbruck inches or Nuremberg inches? No, I think I'll do this one. They're not his to keep. Okay. Huh. We gotta find. Oh, there they are, right there. Ooh. 
There's a fair amount of wear on these. I hope you don't mind. Those volumes were old even when Piero started to make copies. How long ago was Nate, that? You're a silly goober. Three years. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Aeonid is not one of my favorite stories, but I understand why it appeals to Piero. Aeonis chose his duty to the gods over his lover, Dido. Whoa. Do you think Aeonis' sense of duty <laughs> appeals to Piero? We all have our vocations. Brother Piero takes his more seriously than most of the others in the Abbey. You clearly take your vocation seriously. Andreas, I didn't have a choice in my vocation. Few women do. You say that? Is it really that bad? Or no? Well, surely it's not that dire. How would you know, Andreas? How could you? Anus sense of duty. <laughs> <laughs> Men are not sorted with the same sieve as li of life as women are. There are fewer places where we fit. Even in stories, we are maidens to be rescued and wed, cruel seducers of men, or wizened crows. Wizened. Wizened. <laughs> like Dido, we ordinary women are merely tools in the tales of men. We can never be the protagonists of our own stories. No woman is exempt from that, from the empress to a... Hmm. None. None. Oh, yeah, none. It is our lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so hard to read. It's your fault for choosing that uh, font. Hey, so, Rhoda! Good to see you! I suppose I understand why you are not a fan, fond of the a &N. It's fine poetry for men. <laughs> now, the books, if you please. What is this game? Thank you. Next, Wretched Garen. This is a printed copy. Green cover, diamond pattern. I do not have the size in the ledger, but hopefully the description is enough. I know the one you're talking about. Brother Adok was reading it. Okay, mm. so we gotta go find Brother Adok. Also, what's this? Oh, there's the book. The beauty of this book truly relies its, relies its ridiculous content. I'm surprised the Abbey owns a copy. Mm. We don't. It belongs to Am Amadea Rusco of Udano. Highly contested Swiss market town. Blah, 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 blah. It's a Venetian edition that's quite valuable. He loaned it to us five years ago. It was subsequently lost, and the abbot received three letters about it. I've certainly seen the brothers enjoying it. That book is not appropriate reading for Benedictine monks. A baby is sold to pirates, raised a servant, and then lives a life of adventuring, wooing princesses, and fighting in tournaments. You forget the best part. In the end, Garen learns he has royal blood, the son of a duke. He reigns as a king and dies a pious hermit. What's not to love? Benedictines should not be dreaming of reconciliation with our should be dreaming of reconciliation with our lord, not lusty adventures. What's the harm? Ooh, I actually know we should do this one. Mm -hmm. I suppose you're right. It's better suited for natives like me. It's not my place to reprimand anyone for reading stories, least of all you, Andreas. Still, we must be on guard. Mm -hmm. Fantasy leads to temptation. Temptation has led to the downfall of many men and women. As religion. Sometimes, yes, but books like this, it's all the same type of fantasy, isn't it? To die better than we are born. And what's the problem with that? Why shouldn't a peasant dream of being a king? There is neither Jew nor Greek, nor slave nor free, neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. We may be one in Christ, but we are not equal in this world. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good quote. Yeah, yep. It isn't this world you should be concerned with, Andreas. Hey, hey MJ. MJ! But, the book, Andreas, we must return it, or would you rather like the abbot to receive a fourth letter? I hate to see right, the brothers Rana? disappointed, but I understand. It's not my goal to deprive the brothers of their joy, but to retrieve Amadea Rusko's property. The book, please. Done. Do, 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 do. Readings. There is only one book left. <laughs> then you will be freed from bondage. Behave. A dark red cover, eight inches high, five inches across, two inches thick. Oh, I remember that. I believe Brother Guy was reading it. All the books. Apparently. Oh, nice. Now that I think about it, Guy has always been guarded about this book, like he was hiding it. Very good. Please bring it here. 
What is this anyway? Ah, oh, maybe I should have learned French at some point. What is this? <laughs> Why are you asking so many questions? Just give it to me. Oh, look at this. I'm going to logic her out of it. I haven't asked so many questions. I've asked one question twice and you haven't answered me. <laughs> I have a good reason not to answer you. Wait. Three French bishops condemned the book. All copies were to be burned. The author shared the same fate. What? Why? I don't know, Andreas. It isn't my place to question the judgment of one bishop, let alone three. Yes. Nuns and ladders. <laughs> and before you ask, no, I haven't read it. But I know it contains a dialogue between love and reason. Well, the book is dangerous. When did the bishops condemn it? They do be floating, though. So what's the point of the ladders? The float? 200 years ago. What? Why? Why is it still here? Because Father Matthias loved loved books, all books, and didn't want he didn't want to see it destroyed. Ooh, should we do this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Holy Church does not share your opinion. It is their law that we must contend with, not your emotions. Pigeon has a question. Yes. When do we get to seek out the Tabula Smaragdina? I don't know yet. It sounds very elaborate. <laughs> The prototype of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, interesting. We knew the church was wrong. I'm not going to debate this with you, Andreas. And Mother, Father Matthias is gone. It's not my place to question the former abbot's decision, but when Father Garnet learned it was in our possession, he wanted it destroyed. How did... Oh, how? Mother Cecilia made a note of it in the inventory when she was the librarian. Must the book be destroyed? No one even knows it's here. I do. So do Mother Cecilia and Father Garnet. I'll... What does it mean? I don't get do the reference. Save... Do we try to save the book? Yes. What? Why not? Why are you going to do with it? I'm not sure. I'll hide it. Keep it safe. <laughs> Should we do that? Sure. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm serious. Give me that book and our, or our deal is forfeit. I won't tell you anything about Baron Rothvogel. Hmm. What about this? I propose a compromise. Yeah. I'll be gone by the time Father Garnet asks about it, and if you like, I can you can say I stole it. I doubt he'll make a fuss about me stealing a book he wanted destroyed. I don't like this, Andreas. It feels wrong in my heart. I swear, I'll take it far away. It's been out here for years. And besides, how could you have stopped me? Oh, that's nice. Success! Hi. Nice. Yeah, it does kind High of fives like all that, around. Right, Papa High fives all around. High fives all around. Yeah! High five! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trusting you with in this, Andreas, against my better judgment. Don't make me regret this. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! A winner is me. All right, let's talk to her now. Now then, Baron Rothvogel, listen uh, quickly though. I need to finish up in here soon. So that's super cool. When I gave you a high five too. Should that's do this cool, one too? Legion. Now I want to find out more about that. What does this? What does the thinking do? I should choose carefully. Was oh, it a hint? I think I'd like this one. That's right, MJ. Hi, Gene. I think we should do this one, right? Sure. Yeah. He, he also mentioned that Father Matias had a copy, was looking for another to verify its contents. Do you know anything about the book? I've heard of it, but I've never read it, and I know little about its contents. The subject is broad, but I believe the book deals specifically with the Roman occupation of this land. What about that could have upset Father Matthias so much? I can't claim any deep insights into Father, former abbot's mind. I understand him to be a virtuous and charitable man, sometimes to a fault. It's not always best when an abbot considers himself a friend to his brothers instead of their shepherd. What is your opinion? Oh, the thumbnail. <laughs> so what is your opinion on the ontological argument for the existence for God? We don't got time for this shit. Let's keep going with the game. Do you prefer Father Karenet to Father hey, Matthias? rude. I don't have time! We gotta play the game! I actually don't know what ontological... 
What does that mean? Ontological. That's a good question. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one. Something in the book led to him a crisis of virtue. Virtue is only found in crisis. Without it, virtues are little more than ideals. But perhaps there is merit in that idea. Well, I must be to mass. Thank you again for your help, Andreas. Smile <laughs> devilishly. And I missed it, Rona. I missed it. What are you smiling about? <laughs> the joy of books. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are a strange man. <laughs> Good day, Andres. God be with you. Okay, so we didn't get to we didn't get to do any work, but I think that was good. So we got them. Oh wait, don't we have two different people we need to eat dinner with though? Here's Legion with the. The hard facts. Adjective, relating to a branch of metaphysics dealing with the nature of being. Showing the relations between concepts and categories in a subject area or domain. Hello, Ison. Welcome. <laughs> That's our objective. There's a bread. Oh, you're playing this too? That's super cool. Oh, I think Otto is the right person we're going to do this. Mm. Isn't Otto the person we... Where's Otto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otto is the guy that invited us to, uh, invited us to dinner. We're good. We just need to go find him. Actually, I want to check one thing in the scriptorium before we go. I honestly know what this game is all about. Go on with it. We're supposed to solve a mystery at some right, In the library. Yeah, we're supposed to figure out some mysteries. I don't think it's officially from yet, but we all the only thing mysterious is this is. Not say a real sentence. <laughs> Did Ferenc steal this? Chickens sometimes. Hey, you could also say Zelda is that way. Sometimes about chickens. Ooh, yeah. And they're all important butts. Friends handwriting between the lines and the margins. <laughs> it's thorough commentary. All huh. astrological symbols, what's written below? Greek to be sure. It's not even a word, just a jumble of letters. I don't know if I agree with that. <gasps> the cipher! I think just because something could exist doesn't mean it does exist. But what, am I getting that right? There's something I'm missing. I suppose I'll figure it out in due time. Okay, so now we need to really go. We can't miss dinner. Basically, yes, we're like Sherlock Holmes. In olden times. Now, I can't remember the map. Yeah. Prior. Oh, we want to go to the Prior's house. He Which has the cipher. How do you even do that? That's right, MJ. You, you could say the same thing about aliens. I still don't know how to connect the elemental symbols on the vulgar with the astrological symbols on the cipher. I figured out the connection. I can't decipher the note I found in Frank's book. Okay, so we can't figure that out yet. Okay, we'll go in after dark. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have a mystery to solve, guys. Run, running, running, run, running, running, run. Wait, we can go straight to the church. Should be the fastest way out. A 
Okay, hold on. So we want to go down the stairs, I believe. Yeah. There's Martin. To the meadow. Where's the meadow? Oh. Yeah. What is Martin doing? Oh, what is it? Leave me alone. I thought we could talk. We never get the chance. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. Ever thought of that? No. <laughs> Just go away. I'm busy. Would you like to join me for dinner? Why would I want that? So you can mock me some more? Whatever, Martin. You're an asshole. <laughs> Eat shit. I'm done talking. <laughs> There's Endress. Nice Legion. <laughs> good day, Master Mailer. Ah, Andreas, good to see you. I trust Clara gave you my message. Afternoon, Andreas. Clara did give me your message. Sorry I missed you this morning. I was still asleep when you came by. Ah, the abbot really gets away with anything, doesn't he? Leave him be, Otto. I'm hungry. Let's pray. Maybe the aliens are the all-powerful being. Bless us, O oh Lord, and give us and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 I had a bad morning. Barely got anything down to my neck hurts. I wish a sore neck was the worst injury I had to worry about. Is your ass sore from sitting, too? Be uptight and grumpy about this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. What should we eat? That was so interactive. Anyway, I saw you walking with that Baron Roth uh, Vogel in the meadow on your way up here. What's that all about? The true aliens were the friends we made along the way? Maybe. He's here to check on a commission. He was through, though Father Matthias had some misgivings about the Baron. <laughs> what kind of misgivings? That he fools around with young women. He's married, of course. <laughs> Praise be to the Tyranids. They hungry boys and we food. <laughs> Otto, that's only gossip. And it isn't Christian to spread rumors like this. It's not gossip that he beat up that farmer a few years back. Old Ranig, may he rest in peace. Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know, but if he did that, yes, it speaks poorly of his character. We had a long conversation with me to mention anything like that. What did you talk about then? I mean, no offense, but what does a nobleman have in common with an artist? Martin Luther, my time. There we go. Sure, I imagine you have a lot of talk on the road, but you don't have to worry about where your next meal is going to come from. This bitterness and envy are not good for our Christian souls, Otto. It's not envy, Andres. No one should get away with what he does, what this Abbey does. No offense to you, Andres. I don't have any problem with the books the Abbey makes. I mean, I never did learn to read, but if people are praying, paying the Abbey to make them, it doesn't bother me. Oh, uh, Otto, did you see that Bowers sheep escape the grazing fields again? No, but I'm not surprised. Martin was supposed to fix that fence, and he probably did a bad job at it. There's not much gameplay going on. <laughs> sure there is. It's just a really elaborate visual novel. He's always in a foul <laughs> mood, and he could be the laziest soul in passing. He can't even hold a hammer properly. Married and a father at such a young uh, age, and he can barely lift a finger for his wife and child. On top of that, he's a damned thief. And before you say it, Endress, that's more than just gossip. Look at him over by the guest house. He's probably figuring out what he can steal with the least amount of effort. He's a born shirker, sure enough. I know one when I see one. <laughs> Especially when you look in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the bower sheep, their ewes are shorn, and that woman and the woman will be spinning it soon, Otto. I got it, Endress. No need to tease. What God wants to happen will happen. Looks like the storm's coming. We should probably get back to it. Right, I'll catch up in a moment, Endress.
Oh, Andreas, say hello to Ava for me when you have a chance. Who's Ava? Ooh. Ava, huh? Well chosen, Otto. Andreas, don't. Just tell her hello for me and keep out of it. You're the one involved me in your courtship. I didn't ask to be your messenger. <laughs> frog! Fine, That's right, fine, I'll tell frog. her. You're not wearing the frog hat. No. Did you bring water for my people? There we go. I did not bring that. I think I brought it. What's our objective right now? Is it? I thought it was to eat dinner. Oh no, we did that. Head back to the scriptorium and work on the book for a few hours. Should we explore first though? See if there's anything new we can do? We cannot go to the abbot's house. It's locked. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not gonna work. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm, <laughs> I don't think so. I can't do that right now. God be with you, Andreas. Ooh, what kind of paradox game are you talking about? What? Cannot do anything with the horses. It doesn't have a symbol. Ooh. That's sad. God bless you, Andreas. <laughs> Hello, Brother Matthew. What are you doing out here? I thought you were aware that in addition to my role as Kirsten Sacrist, I tend to the shrine of St. Moritz. He is the patron of Tassing and Kirsten both, so it is my duty to ensure his reliquary is cared, well cared for. I don't understand the fuss, it's only a hand. <laughs> Andreas is the hand of a saint. Do you doubt the miracles of St. Moritz? Of course not, Brother Matthew. Even I know there are some things a hand can do that a priest can't. <laughs> The Lord has protected my mind from comprehending whatever depravity you meant to imply. <laughs> Despite your impish care, yeah, I have played a lot of Crusader Kings three. I have a couple of videos on it in my backlog. Despite your impish character, you really ought to learn something about the saints while you're here. By all means, Saint Moritz is known, most widely known for his martyrdom at the hands of the Romans. He protected a town of Christians from slaughter. And in turn, he and his legion were decimated. Sounds dreadful. The Lord calls us to cast down our lives for our brothers and sisters in the faith, Master Mailer. Most of uh, the pilgrims who uh, visit come knowing only this, if anything, about his life. However, Tassing venerates St. Morris because he was the one to convert the town and save it from destruction. Passing was pagan? Indeed. He and his legions were snowed into the pass, and the townsfolk refused to aid them. The daughter of the town's leader, Satya, was moved in spirit and snuck from the town to convert. She led Moritz to a spring, and as soon as she was baptized, the snow melted, revealing all manner of fruits. Moritz and his legion were saved by these miraculous gifts. The town was converted, and the rebels fled into the mountains. What happened to Satya? She too was martyred for the faith by the rebels inhabiting the town. Now her shrine protects Tassing from harm. What an astounding story. Thank you for the history lesson, Brother Matthew. You're welcome, mm -hmm. Brother Mailer. Bless you. Till later, brother. Talk with, talk with Carl. He looks like he's uh, in for a fun time. Oh, hello, Andreas. <laughs> hello, Carl. You seem busier than usual today. I'm behind in my work. I went up to the shrine of St. Moritz this morning to pray for his aid. The candle I lit had all but burned away. I was there so long I needed to catch and now I need to catch up. If I'm ever in a church that long, I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> Most days I'd agree with you. But Helena's pregnant now. We can't be too careful. Her mother had trouble in childbirth, so I've been paying visits to Smart's hand and said to his shrine to pray for their aid. Think, should we do this to think the saints will hear you? Sure, yeah. Moritz's hand has done many miracles in Tassing. He can restore the hand of a monk, and surely he can help Helena. I hope their saints hear your prayers. Thank you, Andreas. So do I. You don't have to be an asshole all the time. 
True. Can we go to the con- should we go back to the convent, or should we just- I don't know if there's much we can do right now. Yeah, there's not really tons we can do. We can go pet the cat. That's important. <laughs> Every stream, we must pet the cat and the dog. Yes. That's Let's go inside. See if there's anybody new to talk to. Nope. Nothing else here. Alright, so let's go back. I think I'd like to go to... the church and see, because this guy's out of here, we can sneak into that part he was guarding. Do you remember? Oh. Rudiger! Oh yeah, we can totally go in. Oh, it's locked! The old the old Bailey's the back part that leads to the Victorium. Now, where was this? Where was the way to sneak in? Do you guys remember? Not there. It's been a few days too. It's in the crypt? Oh, that's right, it is in the crypt! That's right, it's behind the, uh, of the church. Yeah, that's right. Now, it says we can only go at night. I think it's still the midday. Oh, who the hell is this guy? God give you health, Master Mailer. Brother Sabat, I'm surprised to still see you here. So, uh, so am I, but I'll be leaving soon, returning to Rome. I and my bishop regret that we could not reciprocate Father Rod, uh, Radulf's generosity earlier. He showed much kindness to our priest at the Council of Constance many, many years ago. Will you remain in Rome? That is up to my bishop, but I will miss these mountains in any case. You should travel to Ethiopia, Master Mailer, and see the highlands. Lara went to the bathroom. God has blessed my home with a wondrous beauty. I would love to, someday. I still need to return to Nuremberg and open my workshop. Yes, someday. Until then, if you were ever in Rome, I may still be around. I've only made it as far south as Florence, but I'd like to see Rome. By the way, if you have some time in the next few days, it'd be nice to share a meal with you and some of the townsfolk. Townsfolk? I am accustomed to strange looks, especially in rural places like these, but I've had kind words with the baker and his wife. Ah, the albums, Eric and Gret. I offered to tell a story to the children and their mothers over a meal someday. Brett seemed excited about the idea, but I'd be more comfortable if you were there as well. Uh, I can certainly make time. Thank you, Andreas. I look forward to it. God give you help. Yes, we've been everywhere, I believe, now. Anything in the dormitory that's interesting? So I guess we just go back to the scriptorium and work. I don't really know what else we can do. It says we have to go at night, though, and it's still daytime. Brother Adek, this work, I don't know where to start. Inconsistent spacing, rough strokes. You're working like you want to see this place closed. Brother Pryor, I'm working to the best of my abilities, and I dispute your criticism. I may not be fast, but I still have my talent. Praise be to God. And Brother Guy, why are you still on this page? What's wrong with you? Normally you're so reliable. Many apologies, mess, Brother Pryor. I will work harder. Hero, I can't believe this. Baron Rothvogel has come to check on his progress, and this, this is all you have? You should have finished this months ago. Is your mind so corrupted by age that you didn't notice the seasons have changed? 
Well, you're not the one who will have to answer for it, so why would you care? Typical. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do this. You, impudent knave, how dare you speak to me like that? I am the master of the scriptorium. It is my place to run the scriptorium as I see fit. I agree, Brother Pryor. Brother Piero's work is unacceptably slow. You are insufferable, Brother Guy. Oh God, give me the patience to endure this. Please, everyone, this is my work, and I'll accept responsibility for it. Pryor for rank is right. Uh oh, it's about to get awkward. Prior for rank, is this mine? It must be, yes. It is, my lord. I can explain. No, no, I don't want excuses. I've come all this way, and I have to be honest. I expected more. It's nowhere near finished, and the style is, well, it's very old-fashioned. I thought I made my desires clear. I feel like my generosity toward Kirsau is being taken advantage of. Am I the fool in this story? I... No, of course not, lord. Never. We can fix this, of course. Of course. Uh, we only need... I want to accommodate you. Uh-oh. Oh, Andreas, good to see you again. So no opinion on the moral argument? <laughs> no, not very becoming of a true occultist. How should I respond? The abbot already seems seemed annoyed. Oh yeah, we're totally going to do this. Greet him by his Christian name. Your brothers and comrades in art. <laughs> true, all men are equal in Christ, are we not? I'm back. Good to see you, Lorenz. My lord, if you please. Father Gernot, why not have Andreas complete the rest of the illustrations? He's clearly capable. Well, my lord, why not have Brother Guy complete it if speed is your con- No, no, I'm talking about the script, that's fine, but the art, the illustrations. I want Andreas to do the others. Oh, of course, I mean, if Andreas is alright with it. I will do what I have to do. I think I will do that. There we have it. I hope this uh, allow allays your concerns, my lord. Excellent. By the way, Father Abbot, am I still welcome at your table for supper? Naturally, my lord. Wonderful. I like Andres. Hello there. You gonna shut off the stream again? <laughs> Wonderful. I'd like Andreas to join us. I think we're going to do this. Hey there, buddy. Hi. Want to say hi? Nope. How's it going? Oh, he's just purring now. Don't shut off the stream. Here. <laughs> go to this one. I'll just no go. nonsense. You can eat with them any day. I'm only here for the evening. Well, father. Uh, well, that would be quite unusual. Unusual or not, I doubt my good friend the prince bishop would deny an additional guest at his table. What do you think? I understand. Yes, you're right. Of course, Andreas may join us for dinner. I look forward to it. Mini cow. <laughs> <laughs> So do we blow off our friends, or do we go to the new dinner? That's a, a social conflict has arisen. Toss her over your shoulder. No, I don't toss the cats unless they are trying to eat little tiny things. You, you had this planned. You must have put your book in the bear, uh, your hook in the bear this morning when you ambushed him in town. I'm just gonna say, oh, go to hell. I'm gonna go see what he wants. <laughs> Brother Pryor, Andreas is not to blame for any of this. I am. Yes, you are, and you've embarrassed me, the abbot and the abbey. Brother Ferenc is right, of course. No wonder we don't get more commissions. Guy, can you stop flattering the Pryor for one minute? We do this one. Ferenc, I think we just, like, trash this guy. Brothers! If you please, Sister Zena and I would prefer if you could keep the noise down. It sounds like Samson slaying the Philistines in here. Of course. 
Get back to work, everyone. That's a joke in case no one got the river. Okay. Well, that was not wonderful. There's nothing to be done about it now. I'll finish my work here and wash up the lavatorium for supper at the abbot's table. Okay, so... I could care less about going to dinner with this guy. I want to go eat at the other place. Do we get a choice? Yeah, do I get a choice or not? I'm not sure I'm welcome, but I can't refuse to- I just watch from the avatarium and close to him and join the brothers in the refractory. I guess I have to go. Alright, I guess we'll go. I'm gonna try. Like, I, I kinda wanna blow off the monks and just see what happens. A lot of times games like this won't let Oh, wait, did we ever go to the courtyard? Oh, this is where we would wash up. Andreas, I'm so glad you'll be joining us for supper. Though the circumstances are unusual, to be sure. I won't be able to speak with you, none of the brothers will. But it'll be good to have you with us. It's, it's a shame, I always enjoy our talks. Now, the same doesn't apply to you at the abbot's table. You can talk all you like. Though I wouldn't recommend it. Father Abbot does not look kindly on idle chatter. Anyway, I'm not- I'm sorry for how the uh, prior is treating you. It's not fair. It's humiliating. Oh no, no, my son. There's no need to worry about me or my pride. All we need is a taste of humi- all, We all need a taste of humility from time to time to keep our feet on the earth. No, Andreas, you are my pride. I cannot claim to have taught you much, but I am proud to have known you and, and your work. What a nice guy. Yeah. And when you leave all of this at Kiersau Abbey behind, you can call upon your friend Lawrence. The Baron Rothfogel, Rothfogel to help you in your career. Frank is wrong about you being slow. Don't trouble yourself over it. Time passes for us all. Things change. The future will ride over the present. You need not fear it, any of it, as so long as you remain true to yourself and God. Now I must hurry to the refractory to join my brothers. I will see you inside. How can you blow off Brother Pierre? Oh, gosh! <laughs> How do we- wait, so where do I need to go now? I want, oh, I haven't actually gone to the refractory. How do I actually go to the refractory? Wash. Ludo, don't turn off the stream! <laughs> Let him sit on your lap. Study. He's so interested. Did we ever go to the large garden? He yes, is we really have done sweet, this. Isn't he? Ten out of ten. And there no. Goes the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh. Like, Get your hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of here. Wait, what's the chapter house? Trolls with whiskers. We've seen this before, too. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get out. I wonder if we can just blow it off. I mean, it sure seems like we can. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Where were we supposed to go? <laughs> I guess we go back to the mill. Did we talk to Till yet? Hello there, Master Mailer. Hello, Till. Have you ever seen a nicer view? Don't get sights like these in the cities, I expect. I could do without the mud on my shoes, but the awkward thing is a nice silhouette. Oh yes, the old Roman ruins. Tassing is full of them. Quite the marvels they are. 
I don't pay much uh, mind to the writing on them, as I can't read Latin myself, but you might enjoy giving them a look. If you do, you'll have to tell me if they match the legends I read about. I didn't know you could read. Only German, I'm afraid. I've never had the skills to learn anything else. Still, Father Matthias was always kind enough to let me lend me a book now and then. I think I read through half of the Abbey's library before Father Garnet became Abbey. Or Abbot. That's weird. Hmm. Why does it keep changing the right? I don't know. Father Garnet won't let you read books anymore? Oh, there we go. Father Garnet is an ass. I'm not surprised he won't let you borrow the book. <laughs> I know it's not that he won't let me borrow books, just not that he doesn't, none that, not any that he doesn't seem appropriate. He and Father Thomas are stricter about that than about the matter. I'd like about the matter, but it can't be helped. Still, the accounts of the Romans and the passing are my favorite. That old book talked uh, about the Roman knight Gain Metellus defeated the uh, caves. It was. <laughs> Heavy rain snowfall had caught him in this very valley. Barbarians on all sides when Mars nice, sent a wolf to the night. Instead of killing the beast, Gaines followed it to uh, a magical spring with trees covered in all sorts of fruit. Mars provided the wolf and the oh, springs that makes sense. and Gaines Metellus founded Tassing after defeating the Barbarians to honor Mars. That's where all this comes from. That sounds a lot like the story Brother Matthew told me about St. Morris of the Roman gods, of course. I hadn't thought of that. Both were um, snowed into the valley, weren't they, and saved near a spring. I wonder if it's the same story. Oh, I don't know about that, Master Mailer. A lot of uh, stories get mixed up over the years. It might be all fable, but I enjoy the story all the same. It's nice to feel you've connected with those who come before you, even if it's only for the land you live on. Wise words. I feel the same. It's been good chatting with you, Master Melee, but I must get back to my work. You let me know if you find any particularly good books in that library, alright? Until later, Till. Alright, let's go find... Ooh, more flowers. Legs. I'll drop Okay. Yes. Where were we gonna go? The Drucker house, right? That's where we're supposed to have dinner. It's locked. So you can't go to the Drucker house. You can go to the mill, though. We haven't been there yet. Dog. <gasps> we must pet the dog. Mm -hmm. Oh. We give him a handshake. <laughs> we go to the Roman ruins as well. I wonder who the artist is. Collapsed. Must have allowed access to the aqueduct. That. Hey, bud. <laughs> The menace has returned! <laughs> you just move your keyboard. No, don't! Dead on the keyboard, buddy! There you go. You can sit here, though. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of considering it. Just chilling. All right, let's go back up. I guess we have to do that then. We can't go to any other dinner. <laughs> I can't see. There's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can't see the cat. <laughs> oh. Chasing the cursor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo, Ludo. He sees your hand moving it. Over here, Ludo. It's so cute. Over here, Ludo. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Get it. Get it, Ludo. <laughs> nice cow. <laughs> okay. 
All right, kitty. You can't eat those things. Here, go do it, Hannah. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. <laughs> Where are we going now? The stream ender. Yes. Yes. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm like right here. Where's the refractory? Lavatorium. Refractory. <laughs> the cat's back. He's just like, it's time. It's t This is my time. Andreas, glad you could join us. Good night, MJ. Thank you, my lord. Father Garnet, Father Thomas, prior for rank. Simon Peter answered. <laughs> Dudo, go with go with mommy. <laughs> you are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Oh, the Gospel of Matthew, wonderful. Jesus replied, "Blessed art you, are you, Simon of Jonah." Uh, for this was re not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by the Father and my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not overcome it. Oh, Rona, the bots have joined us. Is he sad? He's like look big eyes. <laughs> have you read Matthew much, Andreas? We nod, nod head. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Rona. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone he was the Messiah. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. That reminds me, Father Garnett, have you read anything by Martin Luther? I, I can't say that I... He has some incredible ideas about the church. Brilliant, I think. My lord, is the meal to your liking? I believe I remember you enjoying your our quail on your last visit. The quail, my god, Father Abbot. The quail's fine. But don't you think I, Luther's ideas are worth discussing? He's talking about the future of the church. Shaking things up in a way I don't think we've seen before. Father Thomas, you see the values in his ideas, do you not? My lord, I mean no offense, but I do not. Brother Matthew, yes? How appropriate. What are your thoughts on Luther's attacks on the church's sale of indolences? Indulgences. Baron, please do not involve the other brothers in this conversation. Fine, fine. What about Andreas? Oh, it's time to make ourselves known. <laughs> the heretic has arrived. Yes. Certainly a man who attended the same university as Martin Luther can spare some thoughts on his work. Why not? Where should we start? <laughs> a, a debate. Excellent. Why not start with the 95 thesis? Enough! Andreas, you should know better. Lord Rothvogel, you are our guest and held in high esteem, but you have worn out my patience. You will not be discussing Luther's work with Andreas, Thomas, Matthew, or in any other brother. Is that clear? I suppose, Father, it is your abbey, but you're taking too much offense at this, and you're far too afraid to change. Whether it's from Luther or someone else, reform is coming to the church. You had better accept it. What? Neither you nor Martin Luther dictate change to the Holy Church on their whim. On their whim. I said that twice. I don't know why. A broken VCR. Uh, this talk is beyond insulting. It's blasphemous. Outrageous. How dare you? I see... I've overstepped my bounds, and I suppose I've ruined everyone's supper. My apologies. In spite of this unpleasantness, I will make good on my manuscript payment and the donation of my copy of Historia Tesse. You cannot accept what the future will bring. Perhaps it's time for you to come to terms with your past. Well, no need to overstay my welcome. Fathers, brothers, Andreas, good night. Well, that was awkward. Mm-hmm. Why, Andreas? Why did you engage him? I expect better of you. Now then, I must ask you to leave so I can speak to the brothers, brothers in chapter privately. Brother Piero, please accompany Andreas out.
I will take my leave as well. Good night. No, that's right. Like, no one really could have predicted that it was going to be a massive shift. But that's always the case. I mean, people, people thought that planes would never get off the ground, and so they didn't... Like, the railroads didn't invest in anything apart from just more railroads. And then when planes came around, it killed all the railroad transportation, and they all just went bankrupt. Don't worry about Father Garnett and the Baron. I'm sure it will all be fine by morning. Plus, like, you have, like, Nokia. Nokia also could not predict that smartphones were going to be as big as they were. They thought it was going to be a fad. They even made their own smartphone before the iPhone got released. But they refused to accept that things were going to change, and they almost went bankrupt for it. I hope Father Abbott can see the Baron's heart's in the right place, even if he picked the wrong time to express himself. Rare planes killed the railroad star. <laughs> yes, basically yes. Break in! Sick! <laughs> I think the Baron should apologize if he wants to be forgiven. Oh, wait, hold on. That seems unlikely. It may be so. We must never lose hope. In any case, I do hope the Baron respects the abbot's wishes for the rest of his stay, for everyone's sake. Brother Piero, what do you think of Martin Luther's ideas? Ah, that is for younger and wiser men than me to decide. I am just a monk, thank God. Good night, my son. Oh, but we won't sleep. There's too much to do. An awkward supper. I should get some sleep. Or... Wait. Sneak into the... I can't. I, where's, I, don't, I can't get to the crypt. I lose it. Yeah, but I can't go into the church now. Yeah. Nope. Wait, did I miss it? I was supposed to be able to go at night. Well, we are in the lower abbey. Does the lower abbey lead to the crypt? He's a baron, but he couldn't have expected that to go well. The storm doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. I should get back to the Gartners. Now, we go talk to him at the guest house first. Oh, it's locked. Can we get to the crypt from here? No, nope, that's the prior's house. Did we miss our chance at going at night? There's no way you can miss your chance to go to the library. Okay, that's good. Huh? <gasps> yeah. Is that a ghost? Are you all right, Master Mailer? I believe I may have just seen the physical manifestation of a spirit. The ghost? There must be a better explanation than that. Well, I'm not here to tell you what you saw. Wouldn't be the first time people have seen ghosts around these parts. Interesting. Well, I think it. I found Johan's last lost sheep. I'm going to head home. Take care, Master Mailer. Thank you. I will. Thank you, too, Till. You doing little biscuits? Doing little biscuits. Great point. <laughs> And we have to go to the ruins now and see if we can find something. It could be the child playing. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing more. Ah, no! Pale horse, pale horse, still on the floor. Remain silent. Martins, Martins, the pale horse, death. Sister, listen to my voice. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. Yes, Father, I hear you. Am I here? Is this now? Yes, you're with us, and this is now. I apologize, Andreas. I imagine that must have been quite alarming. Is she all right? She is, yes. Sister Amelie is a mystic, gifted with visions when God sees fit to give her one. Some are more frightening than others. What does she live in the church? 
She lives there, yes. I'm a little surprised you haven't noticed her before. If you came to Mass more often, you would see that I gave her communion through a window to her cell. Her cell? She's an anchoress, a religious hermit so devoted to God that she has enclosed herself in a cell next to the church. She is dead to the world, but continues a life of prayer and religious contemplation. <laughs> and sometimes, ever so rarely, she receives great and terrible visions. <laughs> is she local to Tassing, or was she a nun at Kursau? <laughs> Neither. She came here from a Benedictine abbey in Lower Bavaria after it burned down. I am her confessor and caretaker. Many anchoresses are literate. I write down her visions to help interpret them. I thought all of the monks and nuns at Kirsau could read. Even poor Folkbert. Folkbert. Oh. Thank you, Father Thomas. I must rest now. Oh. She can read, so she got up a class. Of course, sister. It seems she's in a great deal of pain. She is. She feels a pain that is both physical and spiritual. Her spiritual pain comes from the revelations. They come and go. I try to address them as best I can. <laughs> what are you doing, you weird cat? <laughs> He's freaking out over here. All right. He's so we lose a Hannah. The, the physical pain comes from a deformity in her spine and aching in her joints. I know of no cure for that save prayer to the Almighty. Sister Emily was saying she had a vision of death. Could someone be in danger? Oh no, don't rush to judgment. Her visions are divine and powerful, but they could have many meanings. Some of her revelations take years to comprehend. Some may never be understood at all, if God, as God wills it. Still, the argument at dinner was quite troubling. Perhaps it has cast a shadow over our thoughts. Baby, come here. Say bye. <laughs> now then, the good sister appears to have fallen back to sleep. I must prepare for bed myself. Good night, Andreas. Good night, Father. Uh, occultism. We are we are the ultimate heretic. Running along the farm trail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not worried, this world. These wood carvings are quite curious. First thing. Johan Bauer. Yeah. Oh, we got money too, huh? Yeah. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. French medicine, occultism, and oration. Interesting. Everyone's asleep. I'll set the coins on the table so Clara will be surprised in the morning. A little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> they do be sleeping, though. I'm just going to stand here. Unblinking. Staring Unfeeling. At the wall. <laughs> like the thing of the horror movie. That instead of animating you walking upstairs. Mm. I should really clean this up. I should get some rest. Wait, we should stay awake, right? Is there anything else we can do right now? We completed the Curter's taxes. We haven't done the... I think we can only go to sleep. Tis a power move to T-pose <laughs> over our landlord in his sleep, yeah. Uh, there's nothing else we can do right now. And as there's nothing we can do right now, I guess we go to sleep. Is 
Sleepy time. And keep in mind, we saw in the preview that this gets like crazy enough that people are like getting burned and stuff like that. Time to go back to work. All right, guys, let's end it here. I think this one, guys, want to keep going. What do you think? It's uh, 10.45. Yeah. Okay, we'll end here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye, see guys. See you later.